So it has been nearly four years, if you can believe it, since Jeffrey Epstein took his own life in a federal prison. Well, now the Justice Department's Inspector General is out with a new report. It says that major lapses by prison officials are to blame, including the failure to assign him a cellmate and get this overworked guards who lied on logs after failing to make regular checks. So according to this report, they had regular checked if they had guards might have noticed the extra linens used in his suicide. There was also a mysterious phone call people are talking about now that Epstein requested an unmonitored call with his mom on the night of his death. But here's the thing, his mom had been dead for 15 years. The call was reportedly to his ex-girlfriend, but what they talked about is still a mystery. What do we think? Jeff, you're already shaking your head. Tell me what you're thinking about this new information, and then you know a lot about this whole story in general. Yeah, I, I don't know why I went down the rabbit hole on this, but let me just start off by saying, I don't know who coined the phrase on this show, but where did you do that at? <laughs> yes. Where do you get an unmonitored right. call in prison, federal prison, by the way, and not have it monitored? And now that's just coming out. By the way, two weeks ago, J.P. Morgan paid off his victims $290 million. That was just two weeks ago. It slipped through the cracks because of the submarine story and all that. But let me go through some of the details because I don't know if you guys know who Dr. Michael Baden is. He does the famous HBO shows. He's I been in. Watch that. Yeah, he does. He's famous, right, for doing autopsies for over 50 years, and he's got a lot of information on. It. He was there by request of Epstein's family to be there for the autopsy. So at the jail cell, it was a federal prison. Had this been a state prison in New York, they would have gone through the procedures to see what happened to him. Because it was a federal prison, it was kind of shut down. They didn't even check if the door was open, if it was locked or not. There's no pictures of Epstein's actual body at the crime scene. They just have the aftermath of it. The cameras, okay, there's the guards that we talked about, they're supposed to check. He's on suicide watch every 15 to 20 minutes. They didn't check on him for over eight hours. There's two cameras in there. One faces his cell and one faces the tier. Both of them off. Epstein had a roommate mysteriously taken out of that cell the very day before all this happened. So Dr. Baden breaks it all down and he's saying how it was a suicide in his opinion. He didn't do the autopsy, but he was there because three bones broke in Epstein's neck, two right on like the, your Adam's apple right here right. and one is the hyoid bone mm -hmm. which breaks both in suicide and in like strangulation, strangulation. Mm -hmm. but not the ones on your, I don't know the technical Adam's term apple. for the Adam's apple, two of those were fractured as well. And that's signs of he was choked from behind because if you hang yourself, it's gonna be above your Adam's apple, so, yeah. right? Did that autopsy guy think that it was foul play, murder? So the guy who did the original autopsy was inconclusive because he had the same questions, right? right? And he didn't know whether it was. So the state guy in charge finally closed the case and goes, it was um, definitely by suicide. So we don't know who's involved. We don't know who this was. Where was everybody at the time? What's up with these payouts? There's just too much lightning in a bottle here for it to be and case closed. Jeff, let me put a fine point on what you're saying because it just really symbolizes what we're looking at. Go back and look at footage of El Chapo when he was transferred. There's, the, you know, there, there's, the, you know, he's got federal agents around him. There's SWAT team around right. him. There are snipers to make sure that no one tries to kill him because he was the number one U.S. prisoner that we had on our on our soil. He was going straight to max prison, and they were not going to risk the number one losing that prisoner. Why were all of these things right. that you're just talking about? I'll tell you why. There because been ten high powered government him. people are involved on both sides of the aisle and they don't want to find out what he knows or what he did know. Wow. Woo. Nothing to see here. Crazy.